My name is Rory McInerney and I'm with Intel and my group designs the enterprise server microprocessors that go into our products worldwide. I'm really thrilled to talk about the Intel e Xeon E7 product that we're launching this week uh, worldwide. It brings a lot of new innovation from product releases that we came out with last year. This year we're bringing more cores, 25% more cores, which is pure performance. We're bringing more cache, we're bringing more I.O. and memory. Overall, we're going to give you a solution that is up to 40% more performance than our prior products. But in addition to that, we're bringing some new features. We're bringing Intel Trusted Execution Technology, which is an important aspect of security. And we're also bringing new encryption technology, uh, where uh, there's a lot more encryption going on, and we're going to, with hardware assist, it's going to, be run, it's going to run factors, orders more uh, faster than prior products. Okay, and tell me about the vertical markets. What, what, what level are, are we talking about here? We're moving it into well, the high-end space? This is an enterprise class uh, product. It's typically four CPU sockets and higher. We'll be launching systems that go all the way up to 256 uh, sockets. So it's an incredible amount of scalability, all the way from two sockets to 256. Classic enterprise data centers will look at this. Uh, high performance computing will look at it. But also uh, mission critical markets. So where there's a lot of legacy risk systems, they will also look at this uh, as many uh, as more companies look to transform and port their existing legacy uh, applications over to an open standard Windows Linux uh, system on Intel architecture. So those are the types of markets that we will go after with this system. Okay. Uh, what type of partners have uh, you brought on board? What type of partners are actually going to be launching products based upon these uh, uh, processes? We have a very broad both hardware and software ecosystem that's coming along with us. Uh, we have over 80 systems that are going to be launching uh, this week alone. And in the mission critical space, we have major vendors from IBM, SAP, HP, Oracle, Red Hat, all coming to the table with uh, software supporting this product into the mission critical space. So a very broad ecosystem. Okay. Uh, is there any, any implications for data center design, data center layouts, what's actually going to happen within the data center yeah. for the systems that are going so to work? One, one of the things we pride ourselves is we have a roadmap of technologies that go out three to five years and we like to keep a consistency in that roadmap. So the data center that was designed and built last year that were to run our uh, E7 product line, we'll, we'll, you'll just put this new product in and there'll be no changes. So the same power, same thermal, same everything, same power delivery for this product versus last year. And uh, we, we take that very seriously. We know the infrastructure is important and we, you know, if something new has to go in, it's, it's a, it just is an impediment for somebody to buy our product. So we want to make sure that everything is, is standard and, and is compatible from last year to this year.